Hi everyone, it's Feina. I'm so excited to tell you about Risa's story. It's been a while since I had this much fun playing a farming game. But this game is not like the typical farming game. It has unique gameplay that makes the game more challenging but still cozy enough to play. In Risa's story, you will be playing as a researcher sent to Simmerbug to help identify exotic plants and creatures that suddenly appears around the town. So the goal on this game is not to farm and farm and farm, but instead you need to create an archive book. To do it, you need to collect the sample first. You can forage plants and drop from creatures that spawn around the town. Then you can start your research by dragging the sample to the magnifying glass. On the research tab, you will see the requirement needed to complete the research. Each sample has different requirements such as observing it on different location, observe the footprint, and so on. What makes it a bit challenging is some plants are rare, so it doesn't spawn that often. The creature only spawn during the day or night in certain location. And of course, different seasons will have different types of plants and creatures. After resolving them, you will learn how to grow the plants and tame the creatures. The data that you get will be put into the journal. There, you can see the traits of each plants and creature. You need to be careful since the requirements to grow and take care of each plants and creature are different. For example, the peppermint needs to be planted near water. Creatures have different diet and pen types. You can either buy the food and pen from Rhea or craft them yourself. Once you have first the plant in your farm and the creature produce their special drop, then the research will be complete. For visiting sample, the method is a little bit different as you need to use special machine to observe the sample. Then you need to catch the fish using specific bait to complete the research. You can put the finished research score on the shelf in Violet Archive. At first, you only have 3 research slots, so be careful on what you research first since they are all connected. For example, the chicken eats seeds, and to make the plant stop seed, you need to complete the first part of the research. So you need some planning which I think makes the games different from the other farming game. I love planning and scheduling, so while playing, my brain works to plan things step by step, I can hear the wheel turn. So if you love to plan things ahead, then I think you will enjoy the gameplay. But I know that not everyone loves to think further like this and just want to enjoy the game. So you can just do it as you go and that's okay. You don't need to worry too much and you don't need to plan further like I did. You can even cancel the research and continue the progress anytime you want as long as you have the sample needed. I just like to run it efficiently so that's on me. But it's alright if you don't want to be efficient because I think you can still have fun by enjoying the process. Speaking of fun, let's talk about fun things that you can do in this game which is dating. The romance of a character in this game are very unique because you're not only able to date humans but also elves, even druids. As fantasy lover, I really love this idea. Furthermore, they are all very cute so it's hard to choose only one. After reaching Guhard, you will get cutscenes which allows you to learn about their stories and personality. You can also take them on dates on location that you choose. I don't want to spoil the story too much, but during dates, you will get to play mini games and choose optional dialogues which help you to increase their heart level. So by the end of the date, you might end up with even higher heart level than before. If you like romance mechanic, then I think you will enjoy this feature. Now, should you get the game or not? You should get the game if you want a farming game, but you don't want to be stuck with farming. Okay, what's that supposed to mean? The focus of this game is to research about plants and creatures around Simmerbug, not the farming itself. Even though it does feature farming, taking care of animals, crafting, fishing, and mining, but the point is not to collect money like the other farming game. You can buy seeds and the animal directly, which adds a bit more challenge on the gameplay. I think this motivates me to continue playing the game as I'm curious what kind of plants and creatures that I can find next. But if you don't like the complex research mechanic, then maybe you will feel overwhelmed. There are many things to research on. Crops, flowers, animals, and fish. Each thing has its own requirements, which means you need to pay attention on each of the details. Sometimes it will make you feel overwhelmed, especially in the beginning of each season. I suggest to just take it slow when you feel overwhelmed. There is no time limit on when to complete the research, so you can do it at your own pace. That way you can enjoy the process of discovering new things, observing new items, and see how the environment changes every season. For me personally, I really love the gameplay and mechanics since I can plan things to make it efficient which is something that I enjoy. The game uses cute pixel graphics which makes Simmerbox feel so cozy, I want to live there. I also love the NPC designs since they have unique traits like the elf ears and horse, also cute humanoid birds and cats. 
I think all of these features make this story stand out from the other while still maintaining the cozy feeling that we all love from farming game. And if you want another cozy game with fun gameplay, then check out my Asphase for the Unbound review video.